Yeah. So welcome you all to um, the uh, School and Dynamics in Geometry and Integral Systems. Um, I'm the head of the math section at ICTP. Um, my name is Fernando Rodriguez Villegas. Um, I started as a head uh, this January and been here only a couple of years, not quite two yet. So I thought I'll just say a few words about um, ICTP for those who have uh, never been here or maybe those who have been here as well. Um, the stuff uh, in the section mathematics at the moment, this is only four of us that we could, we could see here. And um, so my main point in this um, introduction is a, a plea for um, your help. As you may know, ICTP was founded in uh, 1964 by Abdus Salam. So this year it marks the 50th anniversary, which we'll celebrate in October with a big, big party. Um, it's a tripartite, is run at the moment by a tripartite agreement between the government of Italy, UNESCO, and the International Agency um, of um, Atomic Energy. 85% uh, of the budget for ICTP comes from the Italian government. Um, so the help we need is really um, to, to continue doing what we're doing the best way we can. Uh, in 50 years, the ICTP has been associated to a lot of people. Some of you have been, uh, are here, have been coming often for a long time. And uh, while we, um, we do many different things to uh, help science in the developing world, and uh, often what I find is the most difficult thing is to actually reach the people that could most benefit for, from the things that we do. And that's where um, you can come in. So let me just quickly uh, run through uh, a few of the things that the ICTP does, in particular um, associated to the, um, to the mathematics section. So starting from, from the bottom, so to speak, the lowest level that we are directly involved with in in scientific level is the uh, program, uh, the diploma program, which you can find here, postgraduate program. And this um, brings in 10, about 10 students every year uh, in mathematics and, and 10 in other sections of uh, physics. So it's about a total of 40 every year. And they come from the um, from developing countries understood uh, in a fairly strict sense. So it gives uh, the opportunity for people who don't have it in their own home countries to um, reach a level, f um, ideally, that after a year, they're prepared to start a PhD program in, um, in, in a good uh, research program. Um, and so people come from many different parts of the world. And here it is uh, crucial that this uh, program is known in, in, in a, as wide uh, uh, way as possible. And for this, um, we, uh, we would be grateful if you could help us identify people that can come. So it roughly works as a first year uh, 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 graduate, student, uh, graduate school in a PhD program. So the courses are very intense at the level of roughly the last year of undergraduate or uh, graduate school, say, in the United States. And uh, there's a very rigorous program uh, which the students um, uh, go through. I mean, they, they work very hard. And many of them, indeed, go on to do a PhD uh, from here somewhere else. Um, I'd be happy to talk more about this, uh, any of these things, with any of you individually.
um, as we go up, uh, we have a, a program of postdocs and um, now I can come back. Uh, and as well as visitors, in the in visitors uh, to the math section in particular, you can see here uh, our <coughs> current postdocs as well as some uh, long-term visitors and short-term visitors. Visitors typically will come for up to, say, three months and work here with either someone in the section or perhaps a group of visitors could come together. Uh, various combinations. I should say um, that, forgot to mention that starting from two or three years ago, two uh, of those who come for the diploma program have the option to, uh, we take two of those who would like to stay on and do a PhD here in Trieste. They could either do a, um, so it's a joint program with CISA, the other mathematical uh, institute here in, in Trieste. Um, and uh, they could either work with someone at ICTP uh, or work with someone in CISA, but this is a, a joint program, so they actually get a PhD degree from CISA. ICTP, given the nature of its institution, cannot grant a degree, but CISA, of course, can. is a is an, uh, teaching institution as well as a research one. So um, next up, uh, another very important um, program that ICTP runs is the program of associates, which um, at the moment is also partially funded by the Simons Foundation. And this is possibly is one of the oldest programs and possibly one of the most useful for people in the developing world. Gives them the chance to come uh, visit ICTP and mostly get away from their duties back home and have a, a quiet time to do their work. So either they can work on their own, uh, it's a fairly free um, program, or they can come at the time where there is a school like this one and take advantage of, of coming and attending a, something happening here or possibly collaborating with somebody here. And there's a junior and senior and regular and so on. There's a various flavors of this. Um, and this, again, is something that is, I think, important to reach everybody uh, that would benefit from such a program and make them aware of the existence of this and um, uh, encourage them to apply. I find that this is um, extremely useful for people that may uh, live far away from, from uh, strong research uh, centers and this keeps them, uh, is a way to keep in touch and um, also a way to focus on your research exclusively. Um, Salam, it was a Pakistani a researcher who uh, felt very strongly that he had a hard time going back to Pakistan and continue his, his, his work once he graduated. And one of his, his vision was to a program of this sort, associates, that allowed people to uh, continue uh, to be in touch with, um, with research uh, internationally. And so this is a program that, uh, that we uh, value very much at ICDP. Within that, I don't know how much of this legalese will, will, you'll, you'll care about, but there is within that a system where actual individual institutions can have an agreement with ICDP this called this federation scheme that also goes back to Salam. And uh, it's a sort of a shared scheme where uh, the local institution pays, for example, the, the travel and ICTP pays the uh, lodging. And um, so that's another thing that if you think your institution could benefit from having such an agreement, you can try to talk to the head of the institute and uh, suggest a possible scheme of this sort. Basically, uh, there are many, many different aspects of uh, how ACTP does what it does. And um, one thing that I found most remarkable about coming here is the flexibility. Uh, once the, the goal has been set up, that the goal of ICTP is to help science in the developing world, basically anything goes. 
And so if you actually have ideas of something completely different that is here, please feel uh, free to talk to any of, of us and we, I'm sure we can find uh, a way to, to uh, implement it. Or it may just be that it's in, somewhere in this website but you haven't found it <laughs> because there's just way too many things. For example, there is a, there's a step program for doing a joint PhD. Uh, for those that are in experimental science, there's a TRIL program that uh, ICTP pays to, to have uh, people uh, work at uh, Italian laboratories and so on. This is uh, way, uh, many different sorts of ways that ICTP does, uh, tries to fulfill its goal. And finally, uh, the last thing is, of course, the activities, like the one you're currently sitting on. Uh, these activities are planned way in advance. We just finished the, uh, a month ago the selection for 2015. The deadline for application activities is February of the year uh, before. So um, that's something you may want to also consider for 2016, 17. Uh, if you uh, think of an activity that you would like to host, uh, you like to have here, this is something you can consider applying for it. Um, it would be a matter of sort of setting uh, your goals, contacting some of us to uh, perhaps help with the uh, formulating the um, giving it shape uh, and then uh, go through the application process. Um, so this is more or less all I had to say. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry that the, the weather gods um, in Italy seem to be somewhat distracted with the World Cup. Um, last week it was in the 30s and everybody was on the beach from here to, to Trieste, but not today. Maybe better for mathematics. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, it is a uh, good morning, everybody. It is my great pleasure to address you on behalf of the directors of organizers of uh, this event. This is a fifth uh, meeting of Geometry, Dyn Dynamics and Integrable Systems. We call this GDIS. Uh, GDIS 2014 is the first time that we have together school and international conference going after that. So first I would like to thank uh, our hosts, the ICTP, uh, the, the mathematics section of ICTP, Professor uh, Villeg is the head of the section who addressed you just now, the members of uh, the section, Professor Lothar Goce, who is a local organizer, Professor uh, Luzato, who also took uh, part in the organization and he will also deliver a lecture later. So let me uh, say a few, a few words about, um, about this, these conferences. We started this about seven years ago as a modest attempt of our group uh, doing uh, integrable systems, geometry and integral systems in Mathematical Institute of the Serbian Academy of Sciences and Arts. And then with the uh, big support of our colleagues and friends from uh, Steklov Mathematical Institute of Russian Academy of Sciences, we started this. In 2008, the first conference held in Belgrade, then the second one, 2010, again in Serbia. And then the third one went to, to, to Lisbon, has been organized by Mathematical Physics Group of University of Lisbon. The fourth one was organized in, in Russia. And now we are especially pleased that we have such an honor to be hosted by such a prestigious international institution like ICTP is. Personally, I'm always glad to be back in Trieste. I spent some lovely years as a former researcher of CISA, and I also participated in the scheme mentioned by Professor Villegas. I was an associate of ICTP, and I must admit that it was really a very nice opportunity to have this peaceful time for getting uh, some things uh, at this home institution and can focus here on science, and so it's really something worth to, to, to be involved in. So, um, uh, let me say a few, 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 technical, few technical words. As you have already seen the program. We are uh, especially thankful to two distinguished lecturers we have. Professor Mar Marcelo Viana from IMPA Rio de Janeiro, Brazil, and Professor uh, Sergei Tabashnikov from Penn State University. 
both of these places, you know, are very famous for uh, also not only for mathematics, I mean Rio de Janeiro and Penn State, but also for football, different kinds of football. Uh, now, of course, this uh, European version of football is, is more popular. And uh, I must say that um, I have to, to bring to you the message from one of the uh, organizers, Mrs. Uh, Kutumobilo, who said that since we have this uh, distraction from, from, from the sea and from uh, World Cup, she will do her special uh, efforts to check the presence, especially in the afternoon. So I have to ask all participants to take this into account. Um, so finally, le le let me, uh, let me uh, send you my send the best regards from other organizers who are not present at the moment. Professor Kozlov and Borisov from Russia who will who will come and be active in the second week, and Professor Dubrovin, who has been very active in selecting participants, but due to some uh, some uh, commitments uh, with his major project in Russia, he's unable to take more active part in this in this event. Finally, I have to mention that uh, with the pleasure that, uh, uh, of course, ICTP is the main sponsor of this event, uh, but there is uh, another major sponsor. This is National Science Foundation from the United States, and we are, of course, uh, very grateful to all, to, all, to all sponsors and all people who helped in organization of this event. Finally, I must say I was really uh, pleased to, to pass through this uh, list of participants and there is 107 participants coming from 43 countries from all six uh, continents and I can read the countries Bulgaria, Senegal, Turkey, Benin, Macedonia, Madagascar, Afghanistan, Indonesia, Sweden, Slovenia, Pakistan, Peru, China, Cameroon, Vietnam, Tunisia, Austria, Korea, Georgia, Armenia, Ireland, Poland, Mexico, Ukraine, Su Sudan, Guinea, India, Morocco, Uzbekistan, Argentina, Iran, Romania, Togo, uh, Jordan, Italy, Portugal, Australia, France, Brazil, United States, Germany, and the organizers mostly come from Russia and Serbia. So this impressive list of countries, this impressive list of, uh, of people uh, coming from north, south, east, west, this is something which became possible thanks to our host, to ICTP, and it's really a very important mission for the development of science. So let's thank our hosts and let's greet our lecturers. Thank you very much. As a fi final moment of this uh, first, uh, first introduction, let me say that today we are, have a special uh, privilege and pleasure that at uh, uh, 4.30, there will be a special lecture delivered by, by Professor Virchowski. So instead of, it's, uh, it's, so at 4.30 in this room, we will have this uh, special, special lecture. There are some tutorials also announced, and it's, it depends on the assessment of the lecturers. If they think they need these tutorials, they'll, they will use them. Otherwise, there will be more time for discussions and individual work. So thank you very much. <laughs>